Hi programmers, so in this video we will see that how we can dynamically querying the uh, Google Firebase database to you know display some list of images inside a carousel or a page view, something like this one. So this is dynamic, not a static values, okay? So straight uh, forward, I'll just quickly go and start creating that one, okay? Now, before creating, you need to understand the uh, project, uh, sorry, I would say the data structure, how your collection is being defined, how that collection is being formed or something like that. So you have meals collection over here. Inside that meals collection, you will be having multiples meals, right? So inside that multiple meals, uh, for example, in my case, I have just one meal. That one meal will be having images field. That images will be having list as a type of that images field, okay? So for example, if I'm going and editing this one, I just have one meal that is called biryani description and price and everything. Images will be having list of images. And this is what we have to, you know, loop it dynamically and display in a carousel or a page view. So let's get started with the page view first. Okay. Now I'll just quickly delete this one. I don't want those stuff. Now quickly go and add a column here. So once you added uh, the column, what you have to do is like go over here and then select uh, now uh, page view. So once you select the page view, this should be here. Those page views are there. Okay. Now I don't want multiple because those are the static values, right? So I just wanted to have just one. Okay. Now just delete this column as well over here. Go and just select the image and that's it you are ready now now you can see over here you have just one uh, indicator which showing that you have just one field available right now the thing is that how you can achieve those things right to you know dynamically querying those things so first of all you have to go to the column select the query add query here select your query correction select meals which is coming from there now here query type should be single document because we are trying to get one document that one document will be having multiple images right uh, so just confirm this one now i have to loop that one over here how can i loop that one so to understand this one better what i'm going to do i'm going to add one more uh, component inside the column called text and that inside that text i'm going to go here and then um, uh select uh, this text as a not hello world but meal document should be name and confirm it i should select like uh meal name should be our default value something like that okay so once that is done why i did that one so that you will understand we get we are getting just one meal and inside that we are printing uh this one we are displaying the multiple images okay now once you did that one we got that one record but we have to tell that entire component hey we have some children in it and you have to loop it through how to do that one so page view will automatically you know have a functionality uh, which you know loop through all your images so how to do that one select page view go to the dynamic children generation tab uh, here generate dynamic children see over there and select any give any name uh, over here i'm gonna give the same name that is images and now select what this particular variable will be connecting to so i'll be connecting to the single document which we just fetched to the images that images which is coming from the images list or array or something like that once you select that one and save it now it is telling that this widget will now generate the, its children dynamically from the specified variable that's that is there right now it's here like it's inside the page view now page view view uh, has like all the children but we have to you know populate that one in the image or that page view uh, page as well dynamically so now so let's select the page uh, image over here and then go back here go here and select image here go to properties and now what all you have to do over here is that select this path and inside this part selects images item so this images item is nothing but the variable which we just defined now just confirm this one and boom once you did that one now go over here and just instantly reload it and let's see what we get um just need to wait for for some time and then okay see over here we got biryani and that is slideable now 
you know you can you can you can, whatever you can perform multiple things over here for example you can uh select this page view and then uh, select over here one thing called uh, expansion uh where is that uh, not here. actually the inside the column first select the column and then select the uh, minimum expansion this one once you selected that one what all you have to do is like uh, go here inside the page view inside page view you have to select uh, um, this one expansion should be this one that is fine and now you, the height should be like 300 or something like that so that is something like this one now the thing is that uh, you have to give like good indicator value over here yes you can give the good indicator value by going to the um over here is that indicator uh, i don't know I, I sorry i have to select that one okay so i will go here and select the yeah expansion indicator if i select five see this one how those things are gonna work now if i go over here and just refresh it it should work like this one okay um it will be having that expansion as an indicator which will show which will be which show which will shows like this one boom right this biryani is coming like this one so this is one of the examples now what about i want to do this one with the carousel same thing we can perform with the carousel as well so um inside this one i got the page view that's fine i'll just keep it there as it is uh or let's let's quickly delete this one i don't want that one now so i already have that query there that's fine i'll just keep it there now i'm gonna add carousel so i got the carousel over here again it is giving me the list of images like those things but i don't want that one to should be coming dynamically for example if i'm going here and then just uh, instantly reloading that one let's see what we get um we get the static values coming through that's fine um here let me quickly show you like this uh so we got one two one two three values right so these those things right now let me let me show you that what we got over here okay we got those uh images over here printing right and this particular carousel is uh does make sense actually to you know show those kind of images and that looks pretty as well so how to do that one now let me quickly go and just delete this one i don't want multiple here so, so the same thing you have to select the carousel here because you already selected a column inside that column you are in, now you have to select the text image which is already connect yeah that is already uh, coming dynamically now so you have to select the carousel carousel you have to select uh, give the uh, variable name called images and set document type should be images over here and just confirm that one and save it once you are saving the same thing it, it will tell you that it will be generating the child inside that one now go to images uh, sorry image and then select the path variable and that path variable will be images as a uh, your image uh, list of arrays or something like that of that variable the variable name you have to select okay once everything is done now go back over here just instantly reload it and let's see how it goes boom so we got multiple see those things coming dynamically isn't that pretty so yeah that's pretty much it one of the most important point i want to tell you now is that if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and please do like please do share this particular uh, video because uh, i struggle a lot to you know solve this problem if somebody needs or some community member needs that one just to drop this uh, link to them and then there will be there will be lots of help for them and please do subscribe that will be helpful for me as well uh, for growing my channel and then giving so, some sorts of solutions to entire developers like us thanks for watching see you around